certainly would. Beverly, thank you. A report six months in the making is now out. That report looks at the way Brown Deer police handled the case of Zena Daniels and Radcliffe Houghton, a couple embroiled in domestic violence. Fox 6's Myra Sancha has been reading the report and talking to its author as well as others. She joins us now live from the newsroom. Myra. Yeah, you can see it's a very lengthy report and many are still trying to digest it. Law enforcement expert Robert Willis, Willis reviews police reports, interviews with officials involved, and he makes his own findings. The 171-page document is being called the Willis Report, named after the report's author. It finds no glaring mistakes, no negligence on the part of Brown Deer Police, leading to the mass shooting in Brookfield. But not everyone agrees. Included in the Willis Report, differing opinions from domestic violence experts, one saying Brown Deer Police made 20 crucial mistakes in their dealings with the Houghtons. It details what happened in 27 police calls to the Houghton home from 2001 to 2012. Willis writes only a small number are classified as domestic violence incidents. Advocate Carmen Petrie says that's concerning in itself. And we know that domestic violence is a pattern of control and coercion that can include many things, one of which is physical violence. And that emotional, mental, sexual, physical abuse usually happen together, and so it's a pattern. I spoke with Robert Willis by phone Tuesday. Willis believes in the end, those handling the case were good people who in good faith did the best they could at the time. However, Willis says he does make recommendations for improvement in the future. Those recommendations include that Brown Deer Police establish an early warning system database in which domestic violence incidents and suspects are flagged for police. Willis says officers and supervisors at domestic abuse incidents should write detailed reports on what actions were taken, what actions were not taken, and why, and recommendations for future contact. Willis recommends new technology, such as on-officer cameras, recording devices each officer wears, and the audio and video is entered into an evidence database. Willis recommends a more aggressive approach to domestic abuse law enforcement contact. And Robert Willis tells me he hopes this document and conflicting opinions start a good discussion to help deal with domestic violence situations in the future. Live in the newsroom, Myra Sanchik, Fox 6 News. Are Brown Deer police reacting to these recommendations? They said because there's so much to digest, they are going to take some time to review it and see if there's anything they can implement. Myra Sanchik, thank you. By the way, if you or someone you know is in a situation that involves domestic abuse, there are resources available at Sojourner Family Peace Center or the Women's Center in Waukesha. Their contact information.